Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a common issue that many Android developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a conflict with the dependency com.squareup.okio, okio. This warning pops up while running code in Android Studio, indicating that the resolved versions for the app and the test app differ. Let's break down this warning and explore how to resolve it effectively. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. The warning you're encountering indicates a version conflict with the dependency com.squareup.okio, okio. This means that your app and the test app are using different versions of the same library. To resolve this conflict, you need to ensure that both your app and the test app use the same version of the Okio library. You can do this by updating your build.gradle file. After updating the versions, sync your project with Gradle files. This will ensure that the changes take effect and the conflict is resolved. Finally, run your project again. If the conflict is resolved, the warning should no longer appear and your code should execute without issues. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're facing a conflict with the Okio dependency while using Espresso for UI testing with Retrofit, here's a solution. You can exclude the conflicting dependencies in your Gradle file. This issue arises because you used Android Test Compile instead of Compile. Switching to Compile can resolve the error, as Gradle selects the highest version of dependencies. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the conflict with the Okio dependency, visit the provided website for various solutions. First, run a command to identify conflicting library versions. You have two main options to fix the conflict. First, you can change the library versions to eliminate the conflict. Second, you can use Gradle's conflict resolution mechanism to specify the desired version. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.